Hello and good morning to everyone. I hope that everyone's doing fine. To God be the glory. Thank you, Lord, for a new day, new opportunities, just for new grace. Thank you, Lord. This morning, I want to just encourage you guys to continue in prayer. Um, we're talking about prayerlessness on this morning, and prayerlessness is just void of prayer, just failure to pray, just failure to pray. Um, but I want to encourage you to pray. First uh, Thessalonians 5 and 17, it says, never stop praying. It says, pray always, continually. And we want to um, continue in prayer because we know that prayer answers Every situation needs to be prayed about and God answers prayers and he hears our prayers and our petitions and he wants for us to pray. So in our situations, whatever we might be going through in our lives, I pray that every situation would draw us closer to God, that we would actually pray more and more daily, day and night, day and night, pray and stay before the Lord. Um... I want to read just really quickly Luke chapter 18, um, starting from verse 1, and the effects of prayer is very, very vital. Uh, it's important to stay persistent in prayer. It's important to not give up regardless of what is going on and what seems to be difficult, what might be a big challenge. Yeah, we face a lot of challenges, um, and that is why we have to stay before the Father. He knows exactly what we need, um, and our prayers will be answered. So don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. Continue in prayer regardless of what might be taking place in your life. So I want to show you the persistency that takes place with the widow. And the story is so amazing because when we stay in the presence of God, and when we come and we knock and we ask and we seek, and we continue to pursue God, God answers. God answers. He is controller of all things. He turns the hearts of kings and men. He makes the decisions change in our favor when we least expect it. But because we are faithful and persistent, this is what happens. He answers prayers. So we're going to read on this morning in Luke chapter 18. And it says, one day Jesus told his disciples a story to show that they should always pray and never give up. Isn't that amazing? He gives us illustrations so that we could be reminded that we should always pray and never give up. So he says in verse 2, it says, There was a judge in a certain city, he said, who neither feared God nor cared about people. And a widow of a city came to him repeatedly saying, Give me justice in this dispute with my enemy the judge ignored her for a while but finally he said to himself i don't fear god or care about people but this woman is driving me crazy i'm going to i'm going to see that she gets justice because she is wearing me out with her constant her constant her constant constant request she is wearing him out with her constant request. So then the Lord said, learn a lesson from this unjust judge. Even he rendered a just decision in the end. So don't you think God will surely give you justice, give justice to his chosen people who cry out to him day and night. Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will grant justice to them quickly. But when the son of man returns, how many will he find on the earth who have faith prayer consists of faith prayer consists of faith it, all things are possible to them that believe prayer consists of faith when we continue persistently like the widow here in this story and jesus gave us this great example because why he wants us to continue persistently pursuing in prayer and continue to just going back going back the lady had an unjust situation that was handed to her and the widow said i'm not gonna stop i'm gonna persistently go the judge did not believe in god and he did not like people even though the worst scenarios might come up in your life people might be against you whatever might be going on understand that in the midst of prayer consistent and persistent god would answer your prayers he would make sure that even your enemies 
will be at peace with you. Even the situation that deemed to be unfixable, he will fix. Because that is the kind of God that we serve. This is the kind of God that he reminds us and he gives a story to let you know that pursue me. Pursue me in prayer. Pursue me daily. He said day and night. Isn't that amazing? Day and night, don't just say, oh God, I have this situation and I need you on today. Next five weeks, you come back. No, persistently, God is calling for persistence and prayer consistently, unwavering faith. Don't give up. Don't just ask and leave it until you see it to the end. This is how the Father is with us. Until we see it to the end, he's going to see us through to the end. And he's going to see our situation through to the end. So I'm encouraging you to don't just pray once and stop. Don't pursue something and stop. The lady had an issue here. The widow had an issue. And she says, I'm going to continue to go back to the judge. I'm going to continue to pursue him. I'm going to continue to nag him. And guess what? He got tired out. He said, I am sick and tired of this lady coming to me. I don't like people and I don't fear God. Now, that is a dangerous statement. So even those that don't even fear God and don't like people, the heart will be turned in your favor. Believe it on this morning. Hearts will be turned in your favor on this morning. I found comfort in that and I pray that you find comfort knowing that God is for us. Regardless of what is going on, God is for us. Our hearts are the hearts of the hardened hearts the hardened hearts of man will be turned in your favor hallelujah Woo. yes felt that the hardened hearts of man will be fed will be turned in your favor god is calling for us to consistently stay before him stay before him in prayer stay before him faithfully stay before him day and night bring our petitions to him make our requests known and he will answer our prayers so i'm going to encourage you people don't give up don't stop praying don't stop praying. He says, pray always. First Thessalonians 5 and 17 says, pray always. Don't give up. Never stop praying. Prayerlessness is a sin. Yes. Prayerlessness is a sin. When you don't pray, prayerlessness brings you into a void with God. You step away further and further and further. Your, your life will be further away so every day make it a point make it a point you talk to the father make it a point think about him make it a point to meditate on his word make it a point to consult the father make it a point to bring every situations we have so many situations in our lives right now so there is nothing that we cannot talk to the father about we should still be speaking and then eventually i hope that you would stop and listen <laughs> But we should still be speaking with all the issues that are facing, with all the things that are going on in the world, with all the travesty, with all the devastation, with all the turmoil, with all the anger, with all the bitterness and hate and jealousy and backbiting, lying and stealing and just deceitfulness, joblessness, with all the lack that we are facing right now with people that are homeless, things that are going on in this world, with all the trafficking of kids and slavery and an abandonment and, and just abortion and abuse and you name it, the list goes on and on and on. One thought of a situation could bring you into a prayer for hours before the Father, if you sincerely pray. So I'm going to encourage you on this morning that you should never stop praying. Do not allow the enemy. Don't allow the enemy. Don't allow Satan to steal your joy, to steal your prayer, your petition, your access that God has given to you to come to him and bring your situations to him. So I'm going to encourage you on this morning to let God be God in every situation. Pray fervently. Never stop praying. Continue in prayer. Why? This is what Jesus taught to his disciples and we are his disciples because he wants for us to understand the importance of prayer. So I'm going to pray on this morning really quickly. Just no matter what's going on, just say, Father, I thank you. Let's begin to thank him in the midst of our crisis. Thank him. Say, God, I thank you. God, only you can bring me out of this situation. 
My hope is in you. My strength is in you. Even when I'm feeling weak, God, I thank you, God, that you would renew the strength of your people on this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. I thank you that your joy would be filled on this morning, that the prayers of the nation will go up in every country, in every city, every state, every continent. Everyone would lift up their voices and say, Father, thank you. I will pray unto you, God, because you are the God of all creations. You are the Lord and the King of my life. You are strength in the time of weakness. You are hope when there is hopelessness. You are prayer when there is prayerlessness. You are joy when they find that there is sorrow. Father, renew the strength in the minds of your people. Let them bring their petitions to you on this morning. Let them know, God, that you hear and answer our prayers, God. You said you will hear the cries of the destitute. You heard the cries and the prayers of your people. You said, pray always, God. Never stop praying. He said, cease not to cease not. Hallelujah, God. Let us not cease, oh God, in prayer. But let us be faithful and diligent before you that we would come into your presence saying, have your way. Have your way, Holy Spirit. There is so much to pray for. There is so much to pray for. The world is in need. But Father, we lay our petitions before you and we ask, oh God, that our prayer life would be, oh God, strengthened daily, that we would come to you, oh God, that we would schedule time, that we would be devoted and committed to praying always to you, Father, that you would hear our prayers and you would answer them. Let us be like the widow, God, and not give up, but persistently pursue an evil and a hateful judge that despised God, but even him and his heart was turned Oh God, for the favor of God's people. So Father, on this morning, I say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for... Thank you for this. Thank you for an enrichment of prayer. Thank you for prayer being instilled back into our lives, into our children, into our families. Thank you, God, that we would lift up your voices, yeah, our voices, and we would say, Hallelujah. You be glorified, God. Father, you be glorified. Let our lives, God, be, oh God. Let me see uh, a sacrificial prayer unto you. God let us oh God give unto you God the prayer and the praise oh God that is deserving but teach us how to pray teach us Teach us how to pray. You said, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thine will be done. As it is in heaven, so shall it be on earth. God, you be glorified. Teach us how to remember, teach us how to pray, teach us how to pray, fervently in prayer, unwavering in prayer. Build the faith of a nation that our prayer would be heard and that we would pray faithfully to the Father who knows all things. But Father, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I say thank you on this morning. Hallelujah, God. Thank you that we would pray always and not give up. There are so many things that we can pray for. The need is great on this morning, but Father, we know, God, that you hear our prayers and we know that our petitions are answered. We will not be wavering back and forth. Your word says, James said, we will not be like the seas of the shore, that we will not waver back and forth, but we would stand firm and pray and know, God, that that our prayers will be answered and that you hear and answer our prayers. So, God, on this morning, I pray for the nation that our faith be risen, that our prayers Oh God and our petitions are laid before you with thankfulness and gratitude God knowing that you hear and answer our prayer no matter the time frame God our time is not your time your time is completely different from mine's time you said one day is like a thousand and I pray that the nation would understand the love of Christ that he was Lord that you would answer our prayer 
answer our prayers and our petitions we bring before you on this morning. I pray that the nation would pray. I pray that the lives of your people, God, would be revived. I pray that your spirit would be in the homes and in the lives of your people, that the word of God would be spread. God, I thank you, God, that we would pray faithfully, that we would encourage those, oh God, that have strayed away in the midst of their time of hurt and confusion and disappointment and loneliness and suffering and and pain. I ask, so oh God, that you would remind them that you are a faithful God, that they would pray. Hallelujah. God, I thank you on this morning that our lives will be lifted me kuromasi that our lives will be lifted up unto you. God, that we would pray always without ceasing. That in the midst of every situation, God, we will give your name glory. So, Father, I say thank you on this morning. I say thank you, thank you, thank you, that you will get the glory out of the lives of your people. That the remissidia, no matter what's going on, God, you said, pray always, pray always, pray always, rejoice evermore, give thanks and pray always. Don't stop praying, don't stop praying, don't stop believing. Have faith and know that God will answer every prayer. So, Father, we thank you when we walk and expect of your word being fulfilled in our lives that our prayers will be answered no matter what we go through God no matter where we are that we would be consistent in prayer faithfully serving you so God we give you the glory on this morning because you're worthy you're so worthy and we say thank you thank you father thank you thank you thank you for your faithful love these things we ask in no other name than the almighty sovereign king in jesus name we pray amen thank you lord so father thank you i encourage you to pray always never stop praying never stop believing know that god is he hears and he answers our prayers and he is waiting to hear from you he's waiting glory hallelujah he's waiting to hear from you so on this morning continue in prayer don't ever stop. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Just pray continually. To God be the glory. Walk in expectation of his word. And stay in prayer. Pray always.